Hi, today I'm joined with Sergey, and here's a good, interesting topic of conversation with regards to when people are searching the AI, maybe ChatGPT, or it could be Gemini, or Claude, or Perplexity. And there's a bit of a debate in the SEO community where does the LLMs only use the metadata, like the meta title and the meta description in, let's say, like Google SERP in the search engine results page, or does it actually open the pages to pass information? Uh, it does actually both. Uh, there are different stages of retrieval, and uh, the first stage is when uh, uh, the fanout happens and uh, LLM is uh, uh, fetching uh, a search engine, either Google or Bing, uh, and it, in, it gets in return the list of uh, all pages that rank, uh, and it sees only metadata. So it's just uh, uh, website name, uh, page, uh, page URL, uh, and uh, metadata, uh, meta description, and meta title. Uh, if uh, uh, if those things are irrelevant to the topic, that it, to the fan out that it's trying to uh, get the answer for, uh, it's not gonna it's gonna remove that result. So in the first stage, those uh, meta descriptions and uh, meta titles are super important. That's why it's uh, very important to include something because I know I myself was doing it at some point where I would just leave it uh, blank. And uh, uh, back then it was working, uh, now it's not. Uh, it's better always to include a proper uh, meta description that kind of covers the potential fan out that you want to uh, be relevant for. And uh, uh, so the first step, it's, uh, it's going to analyze your meta description, but then when it, you move along uh, in the process, that's when uh, after the first stage and the second stage and third stage, that's when uh, LLM is actually checking out your page uh, in the beginning, just a little bit, just to see your DOM structure and how, how stable is the website. But if, once you pass more, more stages, the more uh, intense uh, analysis your page is going to get. So let's say it does qualify and they say, OK, we want to try to get more information. We don't just want to use the metadata. Does it just pull then like the centerpiece annotation of the page or will it literally pass the whole content? Uh, on, the f on the second stage, after it passed the uh, past, uh, meta meta description stage, uh, it gets light skimming. So it just it checks the DOM structure, it checks the stability of the page, it checks if uh, uh, the, the page is uh, properly structured, if it's not messy. Uh, then uh, on, the, on the next stage, that's when actual parsing happening. And th this is when you get complete kind of like analysis of your page and uh, every section gets, uh, every chunk gets gets analyzed and figured out if, uh, uh, if it makes sense. But the second stage is also very important. Like if you're not leading with the meaning, uh, the idea is that uh, if, uh, uh, if you want to be relevant for a certain fan out query, you need to answer that fan out query in the first 50, 70 words. If LLM doesn't see that, you don't pass the second stage and you're not going to get uh, uh, you're going to get discarded before you're going to get to the stage where actual retrieval is going to happen yeah and then if it is passing the page does it read any of like the schema markup or does it not read any of that part yes yes definitely uh, schema markup is very important it's not as important as uh, uh, some people might say like it's not a, a holy grail of uh, a semantic seo limit uh, optimization uh, but it's like a handshake. Uh, you basically you uh, making LLM's job much easier by uh, uh, telling it what the context, uh, what, what the context is, what the what the content is, uh, and uh, you gotta be very careful because if you're gonna have a mismatch, uh, you're actually gonna hurt yourself. So if you don't know how to use uh, uh, schema, uh, I would propose not to use it at all. Uh, but uh, uh, the idea for schema is that uh, you're making LLM's job easier and therefore cheaper, like it doesn't have to compute, it doesn't have to spend extra power and compute uh, by analyzing and figuring out your content. Yeah, and then what about, so obviously you mentioned before the meta description now, there's two parts um, with regards to one page that a lot of SEOs have stopped using. One of them was the meta keywords kind of tab and the other one was the meta description. Does both of them, or does one of them now start to get crawled with regards to the LLMs? Are you saying now that the meta description is important? Is the meta keywords tag important or not really? Uh, the only thing that's important about meta description is what kind of meta description is shown on SRP. Uh, meta keywords, they are irrelevant. They are, uh, uh, then uh, architect, uh, 
uh, they they are thing of a past. Like uh, they, they've been working some time ago, a uh, very long time ago. Now they irrelevant, and in LLM era, they also not very relevant. Yeah, I was just seeing whether the LLMs actually called it or not. But with regards to the meta description, a lot of people still say about leaving it blank isn't a bad thing because if you was to search for a specific query, normally it tries to pull the main part of the page that that answer that query that you're doing. So it would be kind of dynamic to what the search is. Are you saying, no, you would prefer to fill in the meta description and have specific terms in there to pass that first phase before it moves on to phase two or phase three? Yeah, you need to explain to an LLM what exactly is going to be on your page. And uh, sometimes Google does a good job, uh, but do you want to tra trust it 100% of the time? Uh, Sometimes it might be okay. Sometimes it's not. It's not. But if you if you're gonna hard code it and uh, explain right away whatever uh, the intent is uh, behind the final query in the description, so LLM sees and this okay like this. This article might be very relevant to this specific query. Uh, it's a uh, to me like it. It seems like much smarter approach. Uh, we can probably test different ones, but uh, I would I would write something. Uh, I would not leave it blank. Yeah. And then the last question here is to do with if someone was to do the search and it was to perform a search, let's say within Google. So let's say it was Gemini, it performs the search within Google and the consensus of the top 10 results is saying almost the same thing. At that point, just by using the meta information, so the meta title, the URL, the meta description, is the times where they don't open the page. So they go, do you know what? I think we've got the answer of what needs to be here. The consensus is all pretty much the same. At that point, they don't open the page and they just then present the answer just from the metadata in the search engine results page. It depends on the query. If the query is uh, not uh, controversial or not 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 very subjective, it's not gonna even check uh, the actual website. It's, it's just gonna go by by the metadata. Right. Okay. And then obviously, if it knows the answer, let's say you're saying capital of France. Well, that is. I'm presuming that's just in their knowledge vault. They won't even perform a search. Yeah. Exactly. Like that. They've already got that information. So if they can serve it from the knowledge vault of information of what they have. They'll just serve it from there. If they're not certain, they'll then just do the actual kind of brand SERP to see what information shows. If it's still this ambiguity and they're uncertain at that point, then they might pass and open specific pages to get the information. Yeah, exactly. There are actually uh, three kind of like stages, uh, three types of uh, LLM retrieval. The first one is from uh, uh, pre trained data. Uh, the, you will never get there almost like it's uh, it's it's impossible to get there uh, but if the data is there like it doesn't need to do anything else it's just gonna uh, extract it uh, quick and easy uh, then uh, there is um, uh, something that's not very difficult uh, to uh, kind of understand uh, then uh, might uh, that meta description might be perfectly enough and then if it actually needs to understand the topic better in its subjective topic, then it's going to uh, uh, fan out and it's going to analyze everything and it's going to go through the whole process. Yeah. So I hope you liked the video with regards to how LLMs are passing information. Are they opening up the pages? Are they just getting the information from the meta of the search engine results page or is it in the knowledge vault? We hope you liked the video and thank you very much for having us, Sergey.